the best. Bali, you tell me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I name Ronald Sims, they call me Bellwood. <laughs> I'm the grandfather of the Valley Brass section. And how prepared is the Valley Brass for the upcoming parades, understanding that we are coming at the gate first? You know, history will show that first to the Valley is nothing. And we've come out the gate first, we've won the parade. Um, 20 years ago in the mid 1980s, we rolled off. Um, five straight. We aim to break that record this year, right? Somebody said on radio the other day they called and they said, um, um, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. And another fella said this morning on radio that what you pick is what you're going to get. The valley pick first, or the valley coming first. But my message to the general Bahamian population, Santa Claus ain't coming Christmas Eve, you know. Santa Claus coming Christmas night in downtown Rawson Square. So you got to be there in Rawson Square to collect your prize. Because Santa's going to give you to your personally compliments to the Valley Boys. That's it. It's over. So I understand that the Valley, they're encouraging all members to be there at 10 p.m. So what should the fans expect once the Valley enters the parade? Well, the fans better be in their seat. Because if they don't be in their seat, they can miss Santa Claus and they ain't going get no Christmas gift. The Valley is ready. The costumes are awesome. Almost 30 years ago, we did a similar theme called the uh, Magnificent Celebration of Christmas. We were coming out of the, um, I think it was the Blue Hill Golf Course shock at the time. That was a half lap parade. We only went from Frederick Street to East Street and the parade was over. Not even East Street. We didn't go as far as East Street those years. We went as far as Charlotte Street. Parade was over. When the valley line up, everybody gonna throw their hand and they say, I in quest. That's it. Parade over. Boom. So what were you leaving with? What message would you like to leave with the competitors to let them know how prepared the valley is and to beware of what is yet to come? The best I can say to them is simply the last two parades showed the dominance of the Valley Boys from front to back in costume in performance, in music. Some have said that we cannot surpass China of a year ago. I believe that we have the tools, we have the costume, we have the uh, performance, we have the music to far surpass China and set a new standard in the presentation of John Canoe on Bay Street. And finally, what message are you saying to the other brass your competitors and the other groups who say that the Valley Brass, they're not ready. Well, you know, talk is cheap. Again, the record will reflect that the Valley Boys are the defending music champions of uh, the New Year's Parade. The record will reflect that the Valley Boys Junkanoo group has the most uh, best music wins in, in recent uh, day Junkanoo. The record will also reflect, as have been professed by some of those shooting off their moat, that the Valley Boy is so clean, it's ridiculous. We work hard, you know. Um, while they talk, we work. We're prepared. We're not exactly where we want to be yet, but we've got nine days to go to Bay Street, and by the time we hit Bay Street, we shall be ready. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah.